Welcome back to Smooth Lux. Did you know that the world already had a quadrillionaire? Chris Reynolds, 56, from Pennsylvania, discovered that he had been given $92 quadrillion when he opened his monthly statement from the company. 92 quadrillion, 233 trillion, 720 billion, 368 million, 547,800 dollars to be exact. At first, I thought I owed quadrillions, it was quite a big surprise, Reynolds told the Daily News. Sadly, PayPal quickly noticed their mistake and the dosh was taken away as quickly as it arrived. This was obviously an error and we appreciate that Mr. Reynolds understands this was the case. PayPal said in a statement to the BBC. They also said that would make a donation to the charity of Reynolds choosing. When asked what Reynolds would have spent his money on, he said, I'm a very responsible guy, I would pay off the national debt down first, then I would buy the Phillies if I could get a great price. Elon Musk, the founder of Tesla and SpaceX, is known as the richest man alive right now. Musk, who currently has a net worth of $263 billion and an annual growth rate of 129%, is expected to reach $1.38 trillion in the following two years at the age of 52. Jeff Bezos, who was on track to become the first trillionaire. However, he is now expected to reach $1.06 trillion in 2030, trailing Musk by six years in the sixth position. Elon Musk is one of the world's wealthiest individuals, but could he be much wealthier? Could he go all the way to becoming the world's first trillionaire? Today we'll look at how affluent Elon could become. But first, we need to understand where he came from. Before I tell you all that, remember to like and subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification posts to be notified on updates on your favorite channel. Travel back with me to South Africa, then Canada, then Pennsylvania, and well, this guy's been everywhere. Elon was born in South Africa and was destined to be a tech nerd. He got himself a code from the beginning and sold his first piece of video game code at the age of 12 in middle school. He was routinely bullied in high school by individuals who presumably feel quite silly about it. As a fellow nerd who received a few shows back in the day, I have to add that achievement is the best payback. He moved on to college in Canada, then the United States, where he paid his rent by converting his college apartment into a speakeasy and charging $5 per person. Entrepreneurs come in all shapes and sizes, don't they? After earning his bachelor's degree in physics and economics, he went on to co-found Zip2, which was essentially an internet yellow pages with a map that featured all of the companies that existed before cell phones. Four years later, in 1999, he sold Zip2 for $307 million, earning Elon an additional $22 million. $22 million isn't bad for a 28-year-old, especially since most people his age would spend it on a yacht and a property in the Hollywood Hills. Elon had bigger plans for the money, so he put it into X.com, an online banking firm that was subsequently taken out by PayPal. Elon's revenues from that short journey totaled $180 million. So we now know how Elon accumulated all of that money to build the companies he controls today. But how much of that money does he earn and how long will these firms continue to exist? We know Tesla because we have seen those cars clogging up the freeway and Elon's eccentric antics at the helm of the company, such as busting some fairly memorable moves on stage in Shanghai with that market worth $86.5 billion. Elon holds around 38.6 million shares of Tesla, indicating that the company is doing well. It's reasonable to say that he's doing well, but Tesla declared in 2018 that it won't pay Elon a dollar for the next 10 years under a 12-step performance plan until Tesla almost doubles its worth. If Tesla achieves all 12 performance goals and reaches a market value of around $650 billion, Elon would possess $184 billion in Tesla stock alone, making him wealthier than Jeff Bezos with just his Tesla stock. But $650 billion is a lot of money. Enough money to give $1,000 to every individual in the United States, with a few billion dollars left over. Is it possible that Tesla could generate so much money given that their sales climbed by 280% in 2018, and their services and other revenue increased by 68% in the third quarter of 2019? They appear to be steadily increasing. Sales are trending in that direction, but $184 billion in Tesla stock does not make you much a trillionaire. Elon has a few other companies dabbling their little robot fingers in different ventures, which is fortunate for him. Elon Musk's well-known business enterprise is SpaceX. They put in a lot of effort to construct outrageous rocket engines, private spaceflight, and vehicles that scare the entire city of Los Angeles with their air launches. You know, normal business stuff, like how aerospace business makes out of this world money, with an estimated worth of $33.3 billion. 
SpaceX is no exception, nonetheless, it is its vision for the future that truly distinguishes them. With plans to colonize Mars, offer private, inexpensive space journeys and restart American human spaceflight. They have a lot on their plate, but their Starlink program is predicted to bring in the most money. Starlink is a satellite initiative that aims to bring high-speed, low-cost internet to the world. The only two things you could ever desire from the internet. But how much will they be worth? A small few high net worth individuals are about to see their fortune skyrocket to a valuation that appears absurd to many. And what's astonishing is that this figure will be attained for a select few within the next five years. A leading platform for finance and procurement teams, the year and age at which the world's wealthiest will accomplish this milestone has been projected. The study examined the top wealthiest individuals' net worth and annual growth rate to forecast their performance over the next 30 years. However, an estimate always carries some uncertainty making the trillionaire race one to watch in the coming years. The top 10 members of the Trillion Dollar Club are mostly men from the tech industry including Google co-founders Larry Page and Sergey Brin. One exception to the storm is Bernard Arnold, chair and CEO of LVMH, in the fourth position, who is the only fashion industry representative in the top 10. The worldwide corporation, a leader in the luxury market, reported $326 billion in sales last year, the majority of which came from its fashion and leather items. According to a recent research, Starlink will increase SpaceX's worth to $120 billion within the next few years, earning an additional $30 to $50 billion each year. Once all 12,000 satellites are operational and giving internet access to countries, businesses and the US government, it's difficult to predict how high this company's market value would surge, and that's just from the stalled program. Because Elon controls 54% of SpaceX's stocks, he stands to gain a substantial amount of money. That being said, SpaceX is still private and Elon has stated that he intends to make it public in the future. Their market value might skyrocket, so we have a rough estimate of $184 billion and $120 billion respectively, with an additional $30 to $50 billion every year, but you can't just have an airplane firm and a car company, can you? So just be boring. See where I'm heading with this? Yes, the boring company, the one that digs tunnels and sells flamethrowers labeled not-for-profit. 90% of the equity is owned by with the remaining 6% controlled by SpaceX. While it may not appear viable, the boring business intends to build an underground high-speed transportation tunnel that will run from Los Angeles to Seattle along roads and will be accessible only by Teslas and other electronic vehicles. And if subterranean transportation, planes, cars, and solar weren't enough, the entire system is predicted to generate $5 for every $1 spent, and with Elon holding 90% of the equity, that's a lot of profit once the system is approved and in an operation. Elon also owns a majority stake in Neural INC, a company that develops brain-computer interface software. There's been no word on the company's profitability, and they've been reasonably quiet about what they're working on, but if it appears that some science they may be material will be coming from that firm soon. Elon Musk's other startup, OpenAI, occupies the same building as Neuralink. The company's goal is to develop pleasant, helpful AI or AI that will not spark as a robot revolt. Microsoft invested $1 billion in OpenAI in 2019, so it's safe to say that someone else believes in OpenAI will profit. So there you have it, Elon owns and operates the economy. Picture what his email button box looks like daily. Though it's difficult to predict how much Elon will earn from these businesses, it appears that the trillion dollar mark is not far away. Who knows what the research firms will discover or how much money that underground tunnel would bring him. Time will tell, but things are looking up for his money account. What are your thoughts? Will he become the world's first trillionaire or will that honor go unclaimed? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. As always, thanks for watching.